Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dan with Restless Studios, and this is how to capture, edit, and upload videos to YouTube. Now, I realize that this isn't necessarily that fun, but I wanted to uh, start a tutorial series. Uh, I think these are just things people should know in general, and a pretty common question. Um, now, I know that, uh, speaking of common, <laughs> there are about a billion videos online right now that um, claim to help you uh, capture and edit and publish videos. Uh, the only difference between mine and theirs, however, is that mine isn't going to be terrible. Um, because I know there are some good ones out there, but overall, they're pretty damn bad. So hopefully this will uh, get you started uh, quickly, efficiently, and uh, I'm not going to recommend you some software that's totally inaccessible or... Uh, tell you how to do everything by typing uh, 14 words per minute in notepad because seriously what the fuck <laughs> all right so anyways uh, let's get into it so the first thing you need to do is open two tabs um, now I've opened two already uh, so we'll just kind of switch back and forth between these anyways um, this is called the Google and uh, what it does is it searches the interwebs <laughs> I'm just kidding um, so yeah right now I'm on Google Here's what I want you to do. Now we're not going to actually type the URL in because I want this to be as easy as possible. So in Google, type um, Fraps, F-R-A-P-S. First link you get will take you to Fraps.com. Imagine that. Go to the second tab. Now type again in the search field Windows Live ah, Movie Maker. Okay. Now the first link you get should be uh, Windows Live Movie Maker 2011. Uh, so click on that. If it's not. Type Windows Live Movie Maker 2011 in the search, and that should be. Um, either way, now you've got uh, both these pages open in different tabs. Now, here's what you're going to... Um, um, let me give you a real quick overview. Basically, Fraps is your capturing software. That's what you're going to use to capture your, your uh, exciting moments in Hello Kitty Online. And then your Windows Live Movie Maker 2011 is what you're going to edit your soft or edit your video with and um, and then upload to YouTube. Yes, you can do both. Um, it might might need to note right now that uh, Windows Live Movie Maker comes with earlier versions of Windows, but if you have uh, Windows 7, uh, you have to actually download this separately, which is very weird. Um, so, yeah, if you have XP or something uh, prior to that, you need to go find Windows Live Movie Maker if you don't already have it for that operating system. Okay, cool. So. Go ahead and uh, grab, hit the download now and grab that. Now while you're doing that, come over and look at Fraps. Now here's the thing. <laughs> okay, I know damn well a lot of you are not going to buy this software because you probably don't buy software, period. You probably just pirate it. Now you can do whatever the hell you want, but uh, these guys did make pretty good software so uh, supporting them might not be like the worst idea but I'm not gonna be a hypocrite because uh, I've had my moments with uh, software so to say the least uh, but uh, yeah so go ahead and get that you can either go to the buy now um, click on that and then you go to the members area and get the download the full version or you can just go download the uh, trial it's got some limitations but at least you can play with it and see how all this stuff works so Grab that, and uh, by now you should be done downloading uh, Windows Live Movie Maker uh, and Fraps. And uh, once you're done with that, just pause it, install them both, and uh, resume the video. And welcome back. So I'm going to assume that you've got both of those running. Um, awesome. Let's start with Fraps, because that's ultimately step one out of two, well, out of three um, in this process. So. Open Fraps and uh, don't get overwhelmed. There's a lot of buttons and checkboxes and uh, uh, fields and all sorts of crazy shit going on. I'm going to let you kind of play with this uh, on your own, but uh, it's important now that you basically look at two tabs. One is general. Now, monitor arrow desktop is uh, it's not very self-explanatory, but uh, fortunately I will explain it to you. Monitor Aero Desktop is basically, uh, you need to have that checked if you want to record your desktop, like I am right now. If you're just playing like a game or running an application and you're capturing that, don't worry about that checkbox. That's really all I'm going to uh, talk about on that one. Now go to the Movies tab. This is the big one. This is where uh, you, you set all your stuff um, for recording. So 
Folder to save movies in, pretty obvious. Video capture hotkey. Now keep in mind, uh, it's just one key. Basically, you hit it once to start recording, and you hit it again to stop recording and publish a AVI file. Um, video capture settings, this is where it gets a little bit more technical. It's not really that confusing, um, but put it this way, uh, FPS is frames per second. Uh, it's essentially the fluidity of uh, your video. Uh, I know a lot of uh, tech geeks and uh, uh, video junkies are going to tell me I'm an idiot or I'm not explaining it right, but you know what? I'm just trying to keep it simple. So flame, frames per second is essentially how smooth your video is. If you had like 10 or 5, it'd be pretty choppy. So go ahead and lock it in at 30. Now this uh, frames per second, uh, it has a lot to do with uh, how Fraps captures what you're doing, um, which means that... If you have it higher, it'll capture uh, more, technically, of the footage and therefore create huge files. So 30 is pretty solid. It's smooth and it's not a big file. Um, and this is, keep in mind, you're uploading this to YouTube ultimately, so you don't want it to be like gigantic. Um, the other thing is you've got full size and half size recording. Now I have it on half size. Half size on my monitor um, at my resolution gets pretty close to 720p. Uh, not quite. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Full size will obviously record the entire thing of your monitor. If, you, uh, if you're running a higher resolution, you can ultimately record in 1080p and uh, have fun with that 20 gig file. <laughs> so uh, go ahead and do 30 and half size and then just play with this yourself. See how big it makes the file versus the quality and so forth. Um, sound capture settings, again, really simple. Uh, record Win 7 sound. Uh, that's not actually recording what's coming out of your speakers, by the way. It's actually recording what your computer is sending to your speakers. So in other words, uh, yeah, if you turn your speakers down while you're recording, it doesn't actually change anything. Um, record external input. Uh, your, your microphone, mine is uh, Turtle Beach. So uh, headset. So uh, one other thing, and uh, then I'll shut up about Fraps, is that uh, a lot of the problems I see, a lot of people that get really confused and pissed off at Fraps, it's uh, biggest complaint is I can't hear myself. I cannot hear my voice over uh, the game video or whatever. Uh, here's a little pro tip. Little uh, little pro tip for you is um, that when you click on uh, your speaker icon down here in Windows 7 um, and you've got a mixer, you can actually tweak the levels of uh, your applications independently. Um, so you can actually... Uh, you know, for example, if I'm playing Hello Kitty Online and I want to tweak, uh, uh, which I totally don't, so shut up, uh, and I want to tweak anyways the application sound, you can pull that down. I found that uh, as long as any one of the applications I'm running is uh, around 8 to 10 in uh, on the mixer, I can hear myself over it and I can still hear the uh, sound. But you're going to have to play with that as well. But that's just a little tip. Use the mixer. Uh, it's the easiest way to do it, so you don't have to do it in every single application. Okay, that's Fraps. So now that you've uh, recorded your awesome video and you're super stoked about uh, editing it and uh, getting it up on YouTube, go into Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, again, really easy program, very simple. It is a full software. Uh, it's not like a trial or anything. And it's got, oh, actually a lot of stuff you can do. A lot of it you won't even touch, but it's nice to know that it's there. So you can click here or click up there to add a video. Uh, so sure, I'll add a one of me with my ghetto green screen back in the day and uh, you know you can add music uh, you can take pictures you can add all sorts of cheesy effects whatever you like one thing you need to know though and this is probably the most important is if, if this is the first time you're opening this uh, for some stupid ass reason even though this is a 2011 software um, the aspect ratio is 4.3 I don't I have no idea why that's the default it's ridiculous um, but make sure it's on widescreen, assuming you have a widescreen monitor. Uh, if you're actually watching this video right now, chances are you do. Um, all right, and uh, that's pretty much it. And once you're done recording and or excuse, excuse me, editing and doing anything you want to do, now click on uh, YouTube. There's a big button there at the top, and that will let you publish it. Um, so yeah, you can publish it in any size you want. Again, experiment play around with it, see what works for you. Uh, I typically do 720p because uh, my monitor is, uh, uh, that's about what it comes out to. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. It stretches a little bit. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into resolution specifics because that shit gets really, really technical. But 
uh, go ahead and click one of these and upload it'll ask you for some credentials for YouTube and such and once that's done congratulations you're done um, you have captured edited and uploaded your video to YouTube so I hope that helped and uh, look for more tutorials in the near future uh, but for now I think it's time to go play some games peace